This short and simple video will walk you through how to find and calculate the specific indirect effect size, or V squared, in Smart PLS 3. First, let's start with a mediated model, something like this. Then go to Calculate, Bootstrapping. Feel free to keep the default settings. Go to Start Calculation. Once that's done, your output should pop up. If not, click on the Bootstrapping tab at the top, and then go to the Final Results, Specific Indirect Effects. Here you will find your estimates for your specific indirect effects, which you can identify by opening up this section. The effect size for a specific indirect effect is the sample mean squared. In this case, negative 0.146 squared would be the indirect effect size. Let's go ahead and put that into Excel. I have this little table here that just shows the traditional effect size, F squared, and the indirect effect size, V squared. The indirect effect size is just half of the traditional F squared. If we enter our effect here, our V effect indirect effect, which was negative 0.146, it will automatically calculate the V squared and interpret it as a small effect in this case. It is less than 0 0.075 but greater than 0 0.01. So it is a small effect. Let's do the same for our other effect. That effect was negative 0 0.045, negative 0 0.045, and we can see that that has no effect. The V squared in this case is 0 0.002, which is less than 0 0.01. So there is no effect, despite it being statistically significant as an estimate. And this recommendation for comparing the V squared against the half of traditional F squared effect size measures can be found in the Open Access article at Business Strategy and the Environment by Ogbibu et al. 2021.